One of the main things I think about when I'm playing with a small group is finding my balance within the group, specifically the ride cymbal. So I have to very quickly determine how loud the ride can be. And then of course, this is just a good old swinger, a standard I mean you. So I'm just trying to lock in with Jeremy and create that nice flow. Um, I do a little bit of housekeeping in the tune. Uh, there was an intro, so we had a little uh, a hi-hat intro, and then it goes to the pedal, which I use two cymbals to really, uh, you know, define two and four on the pedal. And then when the solo started, then I went up top to one of my bigger cymbals. Uh, my interplay and uh, the whole heaviness of my sound is very trimmed down. I'm not trying to be too busy. I'm letting the energy flow within the group. And uh, so I really am trying to make good decisions as to what I'm going to play. On this tune by uh, Thelonious Monk, I Mean You, has a very specific melody that's very tonal, has a few blues elements, and I think uh, I like my job on the A sections just to try to play the melody and f try to fit in with what's going on with the bass and drums and then the bridge actually has a little more space so you can let some more ringing things happen. And then on the solos, of course listening to see kind of what's coming from the other side, I always like coming out of the solos not to just necessarily be going crazy to kind of hit a long note and just let everything kind of get in place. And then being a, uh, a monk tune, I personally always just think about playing a little differently. I think sometimes that can be cliche. Um, people start playing whole tone scales or things that are characteristic of Monk's music. But for me, it's a little different. I just try to think a little bit more maybe chromatic, a little more linear, and maybe not quite so bebop oriented, and just kind of see where things go, kind of a, a wait and see approach. And of course, sometimes that turns out great, and then sometimes you fall over. But that's kind of the beauty of it, is just seeing what will happen over those sections. And the chords move chromatically, uh, characteristic of Monk's music. And I think that kind of gives you a different flavor of how you try to approach it, vibistically. playing a tune like the one we just did, uh, Thelonious Monk's I Mean You, I'm really thinking about one thing, locking in with what's happening on the drums. It's an energetic tune, it's a straight ahead swinger. Uh, we played it in 4-4 time and so I'm thinking about how my right hand and my quarter notes connect with what's happening on the ride cymbal, uh, the quarter notes there, and also on the bass drum. It's almost like there's one large unit that is giving the time to the performance and that's that's the bass the ride cymbal and uh and the bass drum so um, i don't like to think of a tune like this as necessarily involving too much interaction if that interaction would uh, get in the way of the groove so i place the priority on on playing the groove and playing good time with a lot of energy so i think that supports the soloist most effectively on a tune like this um, and at a tempo like this, so that's what I what I focus on the most. And then I also like to think about the elements in the tune that we can use uh, on every chorus as we're blowing. So yes, there were uh, pedal points on beats two and four, we might think of that. And uh, there is a kind of a, an expansion that happens on the bridge where the harmonic rhythm uh, changes just a little bit, and there are some hits at the very end of the bridge that are kind of always present in what we play when we come to that point in the solo. So I try never to forget that I'm playing this particular tune, Monks, I Mean You. It's never just now I'm playing 4-4 time. It's always this particular tune and maintaining the energy of that, of that groove. Just a word about the drums. We have to make sure that they're the right sizes. Uh, today I'm using an 18 inch bass drum, 12 inch tom, 14 inch tom. Everything's really on the small side. They're not ringing a great deal either, 
because I don't want to bury the other guys in the group. So this is, uh, for lack of a better term, a small group bebop setup. 